guys, Pete here from Snakecatcher Morton Bay. Yesterday we had a series of calls for different snakes in people's garages and houses and this one here was found in a garage. The result was that we had two common tree snakes and a beautiful snakeosaurus of carpet snakes. You'll get to meet him very soon. But what I want to do now is take the advantage of talking to you about veterinary care for these guys. Because both of these um, common tree snakes needed veterinary care. One of the common tree snakes is still in with the vets um, as he had a run in with one of the cats at the owner's property. This one in particular had a five minute operation. Now, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's little lumps in here. Now these guys here get the worms in these lumps. How do they get the worms? Through eating reptiles, aging geckos, lizards, skinks, even blue tongue lizards they'll take down depending on the size of these fellas here. And what happens is the parasites within these reptiles that they eat is what gives them the worms. And what we do is we just take the worms out, give them a bit of comfort. So we'll let this guy go back into the wild now. And as you can see, I just love these guys, they're absolutely gorgeous. And next week hopefully we'll release the other one back into the wild as well. And he'll be all good as gold. So we'll put this one on the ground over here, on the tree. Oh, he's already wanting to go off. He knows what's happening. <laughs> there we go. So he'll be making his way up in that tree there and he'll be very comfortable. That'll be his new home now, instead of being in somebody's garage. Okay, now that we've let our common tree snake go back into his tree, he's up there in the tree there as you can see. Very comfortable. Now, the snakeosaurus of carpet snakes. This guy is huge. He's not as long as normal for their size, but he's definitely got a lot of thickness about him. So we'll grab him out of the bag here. There's his head. This guy weighs 6.2 kilos. And he's trying to go for a tree as well. Can you look at the camera please? <laughs> so as you can see, he is one beautiful, beautiful looking carpet snake. This guy here we got a quarter to nine yesterday, last night, and he was at the back of a chook pen, obviously wanting to eat a chook. And if you want to see these guys climb straight trees, watch this, if he's going to do it. Let's <laughs> see if I can get him to do it. Up, up. Watch how they climb these trees. Now what they do is that they'll use this part of the body, They'll hook in here, and then they bring themselves up. Then they go up, they'll find a place, they hook in. <laughs> Slide down a bit. You watch him hook up, now you bring up the rest of the body. And this is how these guys climb straight trees, if ever you wanted to see it in action. Now, my hand as you can see there, does not go right the way around. <laughs> That's funny as. You can just never get sick of these guys. You can sit here watching these forever. They're just marvelous. The ingenuity they come up with in how they climb trees like that. I couldn't even do it. So anyway, so now that we've released our guy back into the wild, um, he'll be happy in this environment and he'll certainly find a good home here. So what you do if you find a snake and you need it removed, 
My name is Peter, I'm from Snakecatcher Morton Bay. I am available 24-7, give us a call any time of the day or night. I'm more than happy to help with any advice that you may need. Have a good day guys, take care.